Good morning guys and happy Wednesday. No, happy Tuesday. Welcome to the vlog. This week has just felt so weird already and it's only Tuesday. It's like, it should be over. I also woke up and my eyes are kind of puffy and I don't like it and my skin texture is just like not great. So it's just one of those mornings where you wake up and your face is just like not there yet. I'm off to go to Trader Joe's this morning. I decided to take my rest day today so I can focus on my presentation. Um, that I have tonight and then I'll go to the gym tomorrow. Another day in the life, you know? <laughs> okay, change of plans. Cause I was like walking to the metro station and then I was like, it's gonna take me, like the time it takes to walk there, take the train. If I have to wait for a train, like go to Trader Joe's, come back and meal prepping today. I was like, I don't want to spend my time doing that. And honestly, like I have some stuff like frozen that I can eat. So I'm just going to the organic store instead to get a couple things and it's really close by to walk. So it's gonna take way less time. When your favorite protein bars are on sale, hell yeah. Bye, I have my hair up like this cause I just did like a face mask and stuff. I've been treating my skin. Um, just cause I told you guys I woke up this morning and my like eyes were puffy and my skin just felt gross. So um, I just put this, well, I just remembered that I put this in the freezer. This is like that free people mask I got in my last FabFitFun box and it's a cooling mask. So you put it in the freezer for like 15 minutes. I think it's been more than that. It's cold, it's nice. And then you just put it on your eyes. Hopefully it'll depuff them a little bit. I don't even know if you can tell. I might just be able to like me feel it. Can I do this one handed? Oh my God. Oh. Kind of tight on my head. Do I look cute? I can't even see where my camera's pointing. <laughs> and I'm running slightly late again. Surprise, surprise. But for my presentation, oh, this looks dumb because it came untucked. But this shirt is from Nordstrom BP. I've worn it in vlogs before. You guys have seen it, and it just will tuck it into these gray jeans. And I'll take off the jacket, but it might rain for some reason. Like I've worn this jacket recently, and it hasn't looked like that big on me. But for some reason today, it looks like it's like swallowing me. I don't know what it is. Not really feeling nervous because hopefully these will be short. They're not like super in-depth detailed presentations. It's just like a pitch. So um, I just hope that there's no like big gap in my data or something I was missing that someone else picks up on, but we'll see. Okay, let's go. I survived, I finished my presentation. It's in the past. It actually went like fine. It was really easy. They were quick and we had to get through a lot of them, so there wasn't like questions or discussion after. I'll let you know if it's chosen for one of the projects next week, but I highly doubt it and slightly don't really want it to. So I don't know why it was like building it up so much in my head, but that's how presentations always are, I feel like. I'm kind of running on low food supplies, so I'm gonna go get something frozen out of my freezer. I hope I don't get something melted out of my freezer, like the frozen. It's Wednesday morning and I am headed out the door to go to the gym and to go to Trader Joe's since I didn't go yesterday. Running a little behind. I got up later than I wanted to, so I better get going. Also, I'm wearing the demonetized hat again. Shout out to Sierra who gave it to me. <laughs> store and came back I didn't actually vlog anything I don't think but um, it was so windy that I just like it would have been pointless to vlog because you wouldn't have been able to hear anything so I mean not windy inside Trader Joe's they make fake wind usual shit I put a post on my fitness Instagram though if you want to see that to show you that I'm not going to burn my sweet potatoes and butter nut squash this time um, I'm gonna jump in the shower really quick and then finish meal prepping um, and then I'm gonna do a little bit of a like chit chat get ready with me because I feel like it. Oh, I look nice. My face is like still red from my hot shower, but I'm wearing a towel and a jacket over it because I was cold. But I just wanted to have a really towel on my head. We're all friends here though. You can put up with this, but I want to do a little bit of a like chit chat get ready with me. First, I'm using Maybelline Age Rewind concealer just as like a little bit of a base on under eyes and mostly where it's red. I can't be the only one that like deals with just my face getting red a lot. Is that just me? With a Real Technique sponge, I'm just gonna dab it lightly, but I'm mostly gonna blend it in with my foundation when I put it on, so I'm not like, it's not gonna be perfectly blended. My foundation, which is the Estee Lauder Double Wear, and I'm in the color 2C3 Fresco. Guys, the cherry blossoms are supposed to be in full bloom, peak bloom. 
in a few days. Well, like a week actually. I'm planning another photo shoot with a girl named Sammy. She has some really cool ideas involving cherry blossoms and I'm really excited. I think those will be so pretty. Okay, so I pretty much like dab that all over my face. One of the most important tools, my Vanity Planet Blend Party brushes, the trendy like oval brushes. They're not just trendy for no reason. They honestly work so amazingly well and I've been using them for months now. Every single day when I do my makeup, I use these. So this is what they look like and they come with 10 brushes, all different sizes and shapes to use for different parts of your face. I am in love with them and they blend my foundation so much better than any other tool I found. Sponges often just take off more makeup than they put on, I feel like. Um, but these brushes just make it look so natural and airbrushed. Lightly buff it in, you don't have to press hard or anything. My towel's falling off my head. Even not just for foundation, but you could use these if you blended like cream blush or something like that or highlighter. They just make any sort of cream liquid product like look so smooth and natural on your skin. I'm obsessed with them. And not only are they completely synthetic, cruelty-free brushes, they're just so, so soft too. Like I've washed these before because I've used them so much and it's still just so soft as if I just got them. They hardly shed. Like I don't find brush hairs or bristles on my face at all. And that's like a pet peeve of mine with other brushes. Vanity Planet wanted me to mention them again to you guys because they're doing a special right now where with my code KVBLEND, you can get them for just $30, which is 70% off. What kind of deal, when is that gonna happen again? Like, I don't know, but Vanity Planet is amazing. There's 10 of them, right? It's $30, that's like $3 per brush. That's nothing for these quality brushes. So, such a good deal. I would definitely recommend you guys checking it out. I'll have the link in the description box, so go click it and use my code KVBLEND to get your 70% off. And we can match and have amazing looking makeup together and it'll be great. Continuing on. On with my makeup routine i'm using the tarte shape tape concealer and to highlight a little bit coachella makeup anyone updated by my mom paula if you're wondering what's going on in paula's life i get a lot of questions about her paula if you're watching this you have fans she texted me first of all she made an easter basket for my dad which is just so cute because they're empty nesters now and it's just them and like she still made him an easter basket if you saw my tweet she was like he still hasn't found it. It's hidden in plain sight. I'm using the RCMA No Color Powder. This, I love this stuff for setting and like baking under my eyes, but um, I have found that it does have flashback. There's like pictures from Vegas that I took with Sophie and Sierra where my body looked so tan and then, cause I got a spray tan, so my body looked so tan and then my face is just like, looks like I'm wearing a mask because of the flashback, so. <laughs> Now I only wear this so I'm not gonna be taking pictures and I won't be taking pictures in class today, so. She texted me randomly and was like, do you have this, or do you still have this like rose gold phone case thing? And I was like, no, like I have a different one or something. I don't know, she was being so weird and it was just random and I was like, what are you talking about? Like, why do you care about my phone case? But then I told her, I was like, I'm kind of considering upgrading my phone so I can get a better camera because I wanna be able to record like, higher quality videos for you guys. Now that I have my fitness Instagram, I'm becoming obsessed with it already. <laughs> if you don't follow me, KV Fit, that's not it. I was thinking of my code for Vanity Planet. <laughs> Maybe I should change my username to KV Blend. I'm letting this set, by the way, so I just look crazy. My fitness Instagram is Christy Better Fit. I'm gonna be recording a lot of like workout videos on there and I want them to be good quality and I'm actually thinking of upgrading my phone so I can have the better camera and I want portrait mode on my pictures too. And she was like, okay, but like the eight plus is a big phone. Like it's hard to hold with your hand. And I was like, yeah, but they have like pop sockets um, that make it easier to hold and stuff. Literally like three days later, I get this little package in the mail. I haven't even like gotten anywhere near getting this phone yet. It was just an idea I was telling my mom about. And she sent me a rose gold pop socket. I've never owned a pop socket before. I'm like the last person on earth. Um, Look how cute it is. Like, isn't this so pretty and so me? She just knows me so well. And two new phone chargers. She's just the sweetest, so thank you, mom, for my Easter, my Easter package. Rimmel Transparent Stay Matte Powder and just kind of brushing off the RCMA powder and putting this all over my face. I think I'm gonna go home in the beginning of May for a week or so. So I'm done with classes the first week of May. I'm looking into getting an internship for the summer so I'd still be here in DC. I'm planning on going home in this time I have between school and summer. My brother is graduating from college. He's older than me, but he took time off from school. So he went back and now he's graduating. So I wanna go home and spend time with my family and be there for his graduation. A few of my like really good friends are graduating from Chapman this year because they were a year younger than me. And so I'm, 
I think I'm gonna go down and go to their graduation. It's not for sure yet, general idea, but that's the week after my brother's graduation so I could go there and then fly from there back to DC. Anyway, I'm using this NYX matte bronzer um, and I use it to contour a little bit. This summer, actually, my dad's side of the family is having a family reunion. I went to a few of them when I was younger, um, but I haven't been to one. Like, I don't think they've had like a whole family one in a long time just because my dad's side of the family is huge. Actually, a couple of my cousins and second cousins watch my videos, so. Hi, Ginger. Hi, Georgia. It's funny because both their names, I just realized saying them out loud, start with G, and so does my dad's name, which is George. My dad comes from a family in Ohio where there's 10 kids, he's one of 10. Their names either start with G or J, so they're all like J sounds. George, John, Jerry. There's no Jeff, actually. The youngest one, the last kid, was named Scott. And they always say it was like, <laughs> I feel like I'm sharing family secrets. They always say it was like, great Scott, it's the end. So I have a huge family, a ton of cousins. I haven't even like met all of my extended family just because it's so massive and I don't live by them. Um, my dad grew up in Ohio and a lot of them are still in Ohio, but a lot of them moved around the country too. I actually don't have any family in Oregon where I'm from, which I feel like most people, that's very uncommon. I was talking and forgot. Rockator blush is my favorite blush. It's from Benefit. I use it like every day. And then this is an old skin finish from MAC by Candlelight um, for my highlight. So yeah, my dad's one of 10 kids and they all had J or G names. And then he had kids, right? There's three of us. I'd be more surprised when I say this just because like they haven't been in vlogs. Um, but I have an older half sister from my dad's first marriage and she's named Carrie and then my older brother's named Kyler and I'm named Christy So it's like the K. So my dad like continued this thing of like the same. I don't think it's tacky I just think it's like I don't know. It's like we're not the Brady Bunch <laughs> I'm using a matte brown eyeshadow um, For my eyebrows. Those are some updates with my family with my life what it's gonna look like the next couple months uh, two weeks from Thursday I'm flying to California for Coachella weekend. I'm so excited. I'm going to weekend two. I'm just going like independently with my friends, not with any sort of like brand or anything. Weekend two just worked better for all of us. I'm um, going with Sophie, Sierra, and Sophie's friend from home, Nick. I'm kind of bummed just because a lot of my YouTube friends are going to weekend one and they're all like, why aren't you going to weekend one? But it's just like my schedule's different than theirs. But also I feel like weekend two is more chill. It's like less of the celebrities, parties, who can like look the best at Coachella. Um, obviously there's still like that element to both weekends, but I feel like weekend two is like a little more chill. I'm priming with Urban Decay Primer and Sin. So I'm using some MAC eyeshadows. I'm using Naked Lunch on the inner half of my lid and all that glitters in the outer half. So we're getting to the final stretch where classes are getting a little stressful, but I have a literal exam. Like my final exam for stats is next week even though it's not the end of the semester because we're finishing the semester with our projects. I'm using the matte shadows from Naked 3 in my um, crease. I've been talking so much. I don't even know. I'm not one of those people that just like talks and talks and talks, but like I found a way to today. I'm gonna shut up now and just show you what the last few products I'm using for my makeup have hit the end of my Jouer brown eyeliner. That's how much I loved it. Oh, I do have other brown eyeliners I can use. Luckily, I'm an ex-beauty guru, so I have a lot of random shit like Estee Lauder. I don't know, crayon, it's brown. So this works and I just use this on the lower lash line and I smudge it on my upper lash line also. And with this Jouer eyeshadow palette, the Essential Matte and Shimmer palette, um, I use a really tiny shader brush and I kind of mix the shimmer brown and matte brown, which is kind of weird sounding, but I like how it looks. Um, and I just kind of pack this on and smudge my upper lash line eyeliner with it. I'm curling my eyelashes with my Ardell Heated Eyelash Curler. Clinique Lash Building Primer. I think it makes any mascara look instantly better. I think this is also on my Amazon page, TBH, if you want to get it. I use Rimmel Scandalize. It's a dupe for Too Faced Better Than Sex. Never tried that one, but I love this one, so I have no reason to pay that much money for it. Oh, I just got it on my face. And over the top of that, I use Tardis Layered Mascara since the beginning of time. I could not tell you any time in my life where I've just used one mascara. I obviously have to clean up the mess I made, so I'm just going in with a Q-tip. Oh, that's pretty much my makeup. I'm just gonna put on like a nude NYX matte lip cream or something um, after I eat. Click the link in the description if you wanna get these brushes for 70% off. Such a good deal. 
I just love how they make the like finish of the foundation look. I'm gonna give my camera a break. It's probably overheating at this point and finish getting ready. Okay, we're back. Um, actually, I don't think I filmed anything since I filmed this, but but I did have lunch and finish getting ready. So I did my hair and I got dressed. I'll show you my outfit. I'm actually, I remembered that we don't actually have class tonight. My professor is at a conference. So I'm still going because I'm meeting with my group for our group project. Now that I've eaten, I'm going to apply my lip color. I'm gonna do Candy K by Kylie. Yay. I'm just wearing my black Gymshark Dreamy leggings with this like sheer pink t-shirt I recently got from Cotton On and my denim jacket that I got at a thrift store that I bleached. My Nikes, the TR6. Yes, I hope you enjoyed that little get ready with me. It was so windy earlier, like I said, but now it looks peaceful and quite sunny. There's no clouds, so. Anyway, I'm gonna get on my way and I will talk to you guys later. And we planned out our project. It's gonna be good. So it's still light out and I'm going home already. Okay, the wind is just attacking me. I'm home now for my meeting and I'm going to heat up some of the food I made today. I got asparagus instead of broccoli today for my veggie mix. Really switching things up. You know, it just called to me and I was like, okay, I'll answer. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to hit the thumbs up button while you're here still if you made it to the end. And don't forget that you can get those Vanity Planet brushes for 70% off with the code KVBLEND in the description. Click that link. Love you guys. See you in my next vlog on Sunday because I upload Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. So you best believe I'll be back. And if you don't want to wait that whole extra day between uploads, catch me on my fitness Instagram at Christy Vetterfit. Okay, that's all the plugs for now. I'll see you guys then. Peace out, Girl Scout.